In 1851, the New York Herald Tribune, under the sponsorship of Horace Greeley, included as its London correspondent an obscure journalist by the name of Karl Marx. We are told that the foreign correspondent Marx, stone broke and with a family ill and undernourished, constantly appealed to Greeley and managing editor Charles Dana for an increase in his munificent salary of $5 per installment a salary which he and Engels labeled as the lousiest petty bourgeois cheating. But when all his financial appeals were refused, Marx looked around for other means of livelihood and fame, and eventually terminated his relationship with the Tribune and devoted his talents full-time to the cause that would bequeath to the world the seeds of Leninism, Stalinism, Revolution, and the Cold War. If only this capitalist New York newspaper had treated him more kindly, if only Marx had remained a foreign correspondent, history might have been different. And I hope all publishers will bear this lesson in mind the next time they receive a poverty-stricken appeal for a small increase in the expense account from an obscure newspaper man. Address to the American Newspaper Publishers Association New York, April 27, 1961.